hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be sharing with you some tips on what you need to do before you start selling on jumia please stay tuned so the number one on my list is don't sell your products on jumia the same price you are selling in your physical store how do i mean i mean if you are selling a particular product physically for like um, 5,000 Naira, you have to increase the price you'll be selling it on Jumia store because Jumia takes a percentage of whatsoever you sell on their platform. So, and they will also take um, a percentage for shipment, like whenever, when, a customer orders a product from you they are going to take a percentage from that um, amount the customer order the product for for them to ship it to the customer and you are also going to pay for flyer and what I mean by flyer is the packaging that the Jumia flyer that they usually use to package their the products to supply it to deliver it to the buyer so at the end of the day yeah, um, by the time they deduct all this uh, amount from your your price, you are going to end up losing some money if you sell the same price you are selling on on your physical store. Let's say you are selling uh, a product physically for five thousand naira, and you put that same price on Jumia, and maybe the profit you are supposed to gain from that product is a thousand naira. So at the end of the day, by the time they deduct all that. You are not going to gain anything. You will end up saying, oh, who sent me to sell on Jumia? So that's why I am sharing this with you. And another thing is you will also pay for transport fare to go and drop off the product in Jumia drop-off station. So calculate the transport fare you are going to use in dropping off that product to and fro. Or if you are using a rider to pick up, pick up your product to go and drop it at Jumia, Jumia um, drop off station, it is money, right? So you have to put all this into consideration before you put your price, put before you put price on your products on Jumia store. I hope you understand. So the number two on my list is know your products category. Um, if you watch the part two of how to sell on Jumia, you would know what I mean by product category. So so that um, if you select the right product category for your product, the products will come up on suggestion. Whenever um, buyers are on Jumia and searching for the kind of products they want to buy. If you are selling fashion items, you are selling um, men's fashion items or women or kids, select the right um, category for that. If you are selling electronics, you are selling furniture, you are selling other different items, make sure you select the category, furniture category or electronics category and so on. So, number three, ship your product on time. Whenever um, you have an order from Jumia, you need to ship your order within uh, 24 hours so that the customer will give you good reviews which will make um, um, your products to also sell fast and your seller score will increase if you don't ship your product on time it's definitely going to affect your seller score and if it affects your seller score is your, when it's reduced to a, a particular score junior is going to delist your store so this is why you need to ship your products on time number four know your drop-off station what do i mean by drop-off station um jumia has different stations in in lagos where you would go and drop off your 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 products so when you are registering jumia account you need to select the drop-off station closest to you that you will be taking to drop off your goods. So don't go and um, select a different drop-off station. At the end of the day, when you take your, your products there, they will tell you to return it. You should go back and take it to your drop-off station. At the end of the day, you will get 
um, frustrated so you need to know your drop-off station look for check jumia to know the drop-off station that is closest to you that you can easily take your products there for them to ship it to the buyer number five upload only available products and good quality products because if you upload a product that is not available maybe you have two pieces of a product at the end of the day you upload maybe you uploaded 10 pieces so by the time you have an order maybe the ones you already have physically have already been sold out so you will now have to cancel the order so you need to upload only available products so if you have 10 pieces product available upload those 10 pieces and whenever you see that okay you have sold part of those 10 pieces you previously uploaded on um, your jumia store as 10 pieces and maybe you've sold five go and edit it and change it to five so that you will not start cancelling whenever you have um, um, orders and you need to upload good quality products like i've said earlier because if you upload low quality and at the end of the day, customer orders this and they say that, oh, what you are selling is, is not good. They are definitely going to return it. So it is, it, this is why some people don't even like to order products online because they will usually say, oh, what I ordered versus what I got. So it's best to upload the exact same thing you have in your physical store. Snap it upload it let them know that okay this is what this person is selling so that by the time they receive it they will be happy and they will even refer people to buy more and to also increase your seller score thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video at this point please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you will get notifications from youtube whenever i upload good content like this so guys See you in my next video. Bye-bye.